Okay guys, welcome to my channel. I'm in my new house, which I'm super excited about. And yeah, I'm just gonna do a makeup routine and then I'm gonna do a little clothing try on haul. Like, subscribe, comment, tell me what you want to see. I just moved into my new house, so maybe I'll just do like a house tour or something next. But yeah, let's start with some skincare. So I'm gonna start with my watermelon glow drops. My glow recipe. I have some pimples coming in, so we're gonna have to spot cover. I also bought a ton of stuff from the Sephora. Bib sale. All right, so first off, I got new foundations. So I got the new Hose Lab by the by Lady Gaga for foundation, and I've used this before, and it's freaking amazing. I also got this NARS one in the shade Poondrop because I'd seen a lot of girls on TikTok, and it looked like a color that would really match my fake tan. I mean, I'm pretty pale right now, so I'm actually gonna go in with the Hose Hose Lab Hose Lab. I don't know how to pronounce it. This foundation is definitely like medium to full coverage. Day to day, I don't normally wear a full coverage foundation. I definitely will wear nothing, if I'm honest, or like a BB cream or a CC cream. Um, shade. This is actually a really nice foundation. So I like that this shade matches me. That's why I always buy like a million different foundations. And so I mix them all together so I have one shade that works. So it's nice that I can find kind of like Luna. So when she chews them up, I obviously will not put that back on my face. So. Now I have a lot more counter space though, so they won't move in. My old apartment, everything was like everywhere, but I definitely need more room here, so. Now my pimples are kind of hidden by my hairline, so I don't know if I want to put so much makeup on them just because you can't really see them anyways and I don't really want to clog it. So I'm not going to put a lot, I'm just going to put a little bit where you can kind of see the redness. hair has been getting so much healthier but it's like that means like it's darker so like it's not that blonde anymore because when I used to really bleach my hair be really blonde and I loved the color but it was killing my hair I think I might just dye it brunette because I'm like you know what if I'm already like kind of halfway there I might, I might as well just go full brunette and you know what I did like my self brunette last time I mean some people in my life say do not but then some people in my life say go brunette and I already listen to my myself anyway so I will be brunette soon my natural color. My brother always told me like, your natural color looks best, your natural color looks best, or anyway. So that's what you're supposed to look like. Sometimes it's really true all the time. Because when I was in high school, I did not set super brown hair. I think my face has just gotten older and it matches with my brown hair. I need to be way more bronzy than this. We're going in with the Fenty, this is also new, and Amber Suede. I love being bronzed. More bronzer than meta. I also lost my favorite bronzer, my MAC Give Me Sun, which I've used forever and I will use it for forever and ever and ever. And if they ever go out of stock or if they ever stop selling it, I will buy 50 of them. Okay, eyebrows, I'm using this, I use the exact same thing. If I'm honest, my eyebrows are terrible. I hate them. Um, I got them all waxed and puffed off when I was younger and I've been trying to grow them back for years. My brother has long, big, thick eyebrows and that's what mine probably would have looked like if I didn't touch them and I knew I shouldn't and my mom said I shouldn't and I just kept going and going and I didn't want to listen and now I really regret it because I miss big brows. Even in pictures when I was little, I have bigger brows. Okay, I'm gonna go in with this Peach Gasm by Charlotte Tilbury. This blush is really pretty. People always say that there's not a lot of product in there. It does feel kind of full, but I can see why people would want to spend this much money because there's so many other products on the market that come with products that aren't gonna break your bank. But it is pretty. But could you find it in another sh another company that makes it for half the price? Absolutely. I love blush. I used to hate blush. Because my cheeks were always so red. I used to hate it because I was like, oh, I'm always so red. So I never would put it on and then I realized I just looked dead all the time. Now I like blush. It makes me look alive. Brow job by them. I don't even need to set these things. They ain't like they're going anywhere. They're only there. I'll set them anyways. Just in case. We have to keep all the hairs that we can. We can't let any of them go. One goes, my whole eyebrow's gone. 
You know, if I have kids with my husband now, we've got a big bush of, he's got big caterpillars. So their daughter should be fine. But I did not want to pass out all on these old little things. I feel bad. Wow, that looks terrible. I'm so sorry. Oh, actually I did get this new rare beauty blush. This is good. It's very good. This is my first time buying it. I saw it all over TikTok. And then I feel like they're always sold out. But I was like, you know what? I'll wait. I'll come back. And then I went online and they, they weren't all back. But this one was. So I liked it. I like it a lot. It's a blot, bliss. It's really pretty pink. Okay, now for my eyeshadow. I'm just gonna use. Actually, you know what? I got a new palette. Should we try it? It's by Too Faced Born This Way Sunset Stripped. That's gorge. I'm going with Sun Chaser. Whoa, this is nice. I grew up using Too Faced. I grew up using this. I'm pretty sure they changed the packaging. They're milk chocolate so light. I also love that. It was like one of the first bronzers I love. And then I don't even know who showed me the MAC one. I think maybe I got my makeup done at MAC for, for prom. And maybe they showed me, give me some. Or maybe it was Luke Jackson. I don't know. I was like, I loved the Too Faced because it was so pink and girl. I should have called really nice. Okay, I'm gonna go with this sandy cheeks. It's pretty. It's not as light as I want it though. I wanted to go over with a different highlighter. Okay. Oh, I forgot. I'll be wearing highlighter. Okay, I'm not gonna do that yet. I always get ahead of myself. Okay, Kosas, I got this too, the soft cloudy set. Cloud set. It looked like a nice shade when I swatched it. It looks kind of similar to, to Give Me Sun. It's like warm brown, but let's see what it looks Yeah, it's similar to Give Me Sun. It's very similar. Give Me Sun's still my favorite though. This is taking a while to get on. Give Me Sun, it's like, I put it in once and it just suits me. This is nice, this is building nice. This is pretty. I'm gonna go with some highlighter. The Bobbi Brown. It's been around forever. Quartz Glow. These things, I've seen these before. This was nothing new. I mean, this is probably nothing new to anyone, but it's really pretty. Another thing is just like, I know that there's so many affordable highlighters out there. It's like, you don't need to go and spend your money to get the look. I feel like everything you now can kind of get in the drugstore, except for skincare. I, I really do swear by really good skincare. And uh, some stuff in the drugstore would not probably be something that would. So a little trick. People always ask me to do liner. I really are not good at liner. You do your lashes first and then add a little flick on the end. That way it won't bug you if the littlest bit of your eyeliner is off because I find when you obviously don't have mascara, you're gonna notice every little, if you move a little bit. So do your mascara and then we'll go back in for liner after. I actually already filmed this and then all the audio got lost. So I'm refilming it. But it kind of worked out because when I filmed, I had it tried all the makeup and I felt like it was very similar to my last makeup tutorial. And I was like, what is the point of posting two of the exact same? So now I've tried new makeup. I can give you guys new suggestions. Okay, some. Um, Mascara now. I love mascaras with a curve. Curve. With a curve. Why is there like that? Okay, now I'm going with the new Ella one. I'm pretty sure the guy in the store as well told me this one good, was good. The fullest volumizing mascara. It looks like the Too Faced one. It's like the Japanese volumizing. I do like it. I never pay full like from Sephora for mascaras. I always buy my drugstore mascara, but I was like, let me just try out one of like the more high-end ones and see if it's that much of a difference. And it's not, so don't waste your money, guys. Unless you swear by mascara and it works for you, but I've never bought one from Sephora or any high-end brand and said, wow, this is better than my $5 mascara. So don't waste your money. I'd say put that money towards skincare or a nice foundation that doesn't make you break out. Corn! Baby, what the fun? I said, Patty, the tears. My eyes are green today. My ice cream color, I swear to God. I read.
I said it's like it, it depends on what you eat. Okay, now some liner. Like I said, we're gonna take our liner and we're just gonna do a little line. And it'll be fine, it'll be perfect. I don't like going on the inside of my eye. It doesn't match my eye anyway, so a little flick of it will be perfect. I'm looking at this more healthy so you guys can see. Now for lips. Feathers, because I've tried pillow. I've done the pillow talk a bunch, so let's do this one. look now we're gonna get into a clothing haul I'll show you guys some clothes I've been wearing this month and yeah I'm just gonna put a bit more mascara on hey guys well thanks so much for watching also holidays are coming up let me know if you guys want to see any videos with holidays maybe a gift guide I'm really good at getting guys gifts so if you guys want some gift ideas or something like that let me know and let me just lock in all nighter Okay, cool. Keep on watching. Okay, guys. Thank you so much for continuing to watch. I'm going to be doing a clothing haul for a white box, obviously. So I guess first I will start off with what I'm wearing, which is like a little white cute corset, lace corset. You can put it with the clothes over and then just these trousers. And if you're tall, I for that. They're pretty long, so that's good too because us tall girls, we know the struggle. Okay, so. I'm gonna just go through the outfits first and then I'll try anything, everything on after. So I saw this online, because I always go through the website even though we work together and I can look at stuff after. I always go through the website and I saw this two piece and I was like, I need it. It is so cute. It reminds me of like a Mew Mew. I don't know how to pronounce their brand, but I saw this skirt on Mew Mew and it was like freaking so expensive. I was like, I'm not spending money on that. And then White Fox ended up coming out with one that I find even cuter. So this two piece and it comes with the top. It also comes in gray. I like the beige. And then this is gorgeous. So this they came out with and they also have like bikini covers for it. I just got the bikini itself. I do love the covers. I probably will end up buying the cover. I love when there's matching the covers to it because I want to go and just they look put together. Even though you're just throwing something on, you look put together. And this two piece set, I love this. I have a picture in this, I haven't posted it yet, but I will. Um, it's a butterfly set, the bottom, and then they tag on the sides, so it makes it a bit sexy. And then this corset, which is so cute. If you don't, like, if you didn't want to match the bottom to the top, you could get away with just black. Or you can wear with pants, you can wear with leather pants. You don't have to match them, which is nice because there's so many dark colors in it, you can match it with other stuff. And then this is gorgeous. I have this on my TikTok. So they are also have like sets of this. So they have this in a top and a skirt line. I wanted the dress because look at that. When I go on vacation, this would be the, probably the first thing I pack. It is such a pretty red color. I don't normally like myself in red, but I love this. Like it's like a cherry red. I love it. Gorgeous. I'll put that on too. And then this top, it looked so cute on the girl online. I can't wait to try it on. So the inside first is like a like a little thing and then you tie it around your neck as well so it's like double support i got this in a medium because i do have bigger boobs but i will try this on with this black skirt which this is a size medium as well and this fits me perfect i sometimes go between small or medium but with leather i find that it always just fit a bit smaller so i get a medium and this fits me perfect so i so i will get a lot of wear out of this which is nice because i need everyone needs a good leather black skirt you know and then this top i love graphic tops i love them I wear them with everything and anything. They look good with everything. So this one I saw lips, I was like, that is so me. I wish I could show you my wall right now because I have lips on my wall that look like this. And I love it. I'm like, now I can wear my painting on my body. And then this too, okay, so this is, they have this in gray, white, and black. I got black um, just because I sweat. And I just like black, I think it always looks good. So in the middle, I'll put this on as well. It divots up a bit, so it's not just straight across, it will divot up, so it gives you a little bit more sexiness, a little bit more feminine, which is cute. And then I have this corset. This is sexy too. This is definitely like going out. I This is like something I'd wear to like a bar or club or like out for drinks with my girlfriends. This is what I'd wear. 
probably with other pants or jeans. And then this zebra, I love this print. I think it looks so cute. Looks good with like gold jewelry on. Match it with some leather pants or some jeans. Goes with everything because it's black and white. So super easy to throw in. But yeah, and then I have this sweater. I love their lounge. If you know me, if you've ever watched any of my stuff, you know I love their lounge. It's so comfy. I wear it normally as dresses. Um, what I would do is I would put like my knit and then this over, um, or you can just wear this by itself. You can wear this jeans, pants, whatever you want, but their, their knitwear is the best and it looks cute. Cause I used to thrift a lot of my knitwear and I didn't like the colors. It looked bad, it looked raggedy. This is like comfy, but it still looks like you don't look messy when you wear it. That makes sense. Like, it looks like your, your life's together. So like, if you go out for coffee or running errands and you all put together, you wanna be comfy. Like these are perfect for fall and they also have the comfiest tracks and long enough. Um, I can put on a pair so you guys can see. I get the bottoms always in a medium and I usually get the sweaters in large, extra large just because I like things oversized on me. But yeah, their loungewear is insane. But, sorry, this one's actually kind of dirty because I've, I've worn it a bunch. Anyways, oh, I forgot one thing. I knew it was great for me. This t-shirt, you kidding me? I mean, this would probably look good on my boyfriend, my husband. Like he would look sexy in this. Like, I love this. I love big tees. I also just hate wearing tight clothes. Like, unless I'm going out. If I am just running errands or I'm around the house, like this is something that I would throw on and it looks cute. So like if my boyfriend sees me in the kitchen making it, making food in the kitchen, I'll look cute doing it because I'm in this. Whereas normally I would probably just look like a homeless person. But with this, I'll look cute. And you can just get away with wearing like little pants with it. You don't even need to dress it up. You can just wear it as is, like a dress. That's what I would do. That's what I will do, I will show you. But anyways, yeah. So I've showed you all the clothes and now I'm going to try them on. I also feel like I'm getting more fit because I've been doing Pilates three times a week. If you haven't done Pilates, guys, do Pilates. It's a good workout. I didn't even say this dress is just gorgeous. So I'm looking in the mirror at it. But this is so pretty. I want to go on vacation just to wear this. I love this. Super cute. Love this top. I probably should order another one because I always get everything dirty. This shirt is super cute. I, I want to get it in every color. I probably will just so I have it. And then this leather skirt is so nice too. And it's comfy. Like this is a, I hate when I put on stuff and it's uncomfortable. I don't want to sit and eat dinner if I'm uncomfortable, then I'm gonna have to undo my skirt. This, like I can sit in and be comfy. See, this is how I normally wear it. You can get the matching pants, um, like the matching track pants. They usually have sets of everything, but I just probably wear it by itself. I just get the medium normally for the length, um, and this is a pretty good length with the tightness. So maybe the medium is good, but this is such a cute set. I love this. I want to the skirt and the bottom, I mean the top. It's really cute, really sexy. Probably don't wear it with underwear. If you do, wear a nude underwear because you will see it. Oh my God, I feel skinnier. Here's a bikini. I would probably take this because my boobs are coming out, but this looks really sexy. Oh. And I feel naked. There is this t-shirt, it's so cute. You can wear your kind of pony, denim shorts on, go thrifting. This is like super cute shirt. This kind of reminds me like a Harley Davidson, like those vintage tees, but it's new. So you're not wearing something that's been worn a million times and it's, uh, it's yours. This is my new favorite shirt. This is in a size medium. I got it because it looked like it'd be really tight and I'm happy I got a medium. So if you have big boobs, get a medium because this is perfect. You can, and I can still tighten it if I want to pull up my boobs even more, but why do I want to break my neck right now? But wow, this looks so good. It sucks me in so nice. You can even probably tie it this way if you wanted to, like that. Make it even more sexy. Okay, well, thank you guys so much for watching my haul. Um, I put on tons of stuff for you guys. Anything else that you probably haven't seen this video, I probably already post on Instagram or TikTok, so you can go and find more of the outfits on there and how I style them. But yeah, thank you so much for watching and see you guys soon. And let me know more videos you wanna see, because I need ideas. Bye.